whatever documentation they have. I mean, the, the planning board meeting today was an example of the same thing. Um, it's rare that every last I is dotted, every last T is crossed, because questions come up and issues arise during the course of the first meeting, the second meeting, and those are addressed by the applicant. What Mr. Higley is suggesting is the issues that created this catch-22 are ones that can still be resolved and that he, he will endeavor to resolve and I'll endeavor to resolve. So we're not asking you to not only put it back on the calendar but vote on the application today. We're simply asking you to put it back on the calendar so that we can go to the DOT and say there is an application still pending before the ZBA. This is the problem that the Ulster County Planning Board has flagged that requires the DOT to act. And so can we, now that this is back before the ZBA, because if I went to the, the DOT today and I asked them to take some action in light of the Ulster County Planning Board's recommendation and their, and their direction, their response would probably and very fairly be, you don't have an application pending until that's happening, why should we devote the resources to it? So the first step for us to be able to complete this process and to answer all those questions that, that came up is to have something on the calendar with this board. That's why we're asking you to, to restore the application. If the application can't be restored, we'll file a new application in advance of the next meeting and do it that way. I'm simply asking the board to at least consider avoiding that step and avoiding the, the, the additional going back to square one for both my clients and for the board for the sake of, of the town's resources and for my clients' resources. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see a legal basis to restore it, and I don't know what the legal basis is to submit a new application that is a parrot of, uh, if, it's, if it's the same application that was originally submitted and acted upon. Why do you feel it would be a different outcome? Well, because, uh, first of all, I think that the the information that is needed in order to finish this and the action from the DOT that's needed to finish this, for, for better or for worse, it's clear that the next step is for the DOT to take some action. So they haven't been willing to do that and they didn't believe they needed to do that before, but um, I, I think that at least at the last meeting and today, the catch-22 has been highlighted. So neither the DOT nor the Ulster County Planning Board said, um, we won't do whatever it is we're being asked to do, ever, or neither did they, and they didn't say that we think that the, uh, the variance should be denied on its, on its uh, merits. They, they're simply a, a finger-pointing exercise of who needed to act next and what the next step was. So that's what I'm here for. Um, that, that's why my clients hired me, to make sure that next step gets taken, whether it's with the DOT or with the, uh, um, or with the, uh, the Ulster County Planning Board. It's an opportunity to, to move the ball across the goal line, so to speak. to rehear the application. Keith Johnson? Yes. Rolf Reese? No. Mark Lodi? No. Joe Michaels? Yes. Gary Guglielmetti? Yes. We have three yes and two no. You need unanimous. I can ask that the, the legal basis for the requirement of unanimity be at least placed on the record. Okay, it's so, uh, Seven A twelve of New York State Town Law. Two sixty seven A twelve of New York State Town Law. 
267 subsection A, item 12, number 12, New York State Town. Thank you all for your time. See you for the next meeting. Given these guys the, the, the direction, I'm not sure, you know, Mr. Wilmer is saying that the DOT won't speak with him uh, uh, without an application on file. I don't know that to be absolutely fact, but, you know, it's their, it's their, you know, burden to come forward and demonstrate changed circumstances. So to, to come back and submit an application to you, that's the exact same, same application to, you uh, uh, you know, repair what they failed to do previously. I don't believe there's a, a basis in law where you, you know, to, to necessarily uh, uh, to hear that. So. so for Mr. Higley to have a successful application a second time around, would it require him to make those improvements asked for by the oh, be, yeah, it, or it, it would have to look different, okay? Mm -hmm. It would have, have to be a different application. And presumably, you know, they would, you know, there, it's their burden, I'm, gonna, I'm, not, I'm going to try and repeat this and make it as clear as possible. In front of the ZBA, it is their burden to demonstrate that the uh, benefit that they're receiving outweighs any detriment to the community, okay? the, neighbor, the neighborhood and the community. One of the things that you... The, Go through the factors that the ZBA must consider in the issuance of the area variances. You know, safety, environment, all that is front and center. So they need to come forward with the information. There's different ways they can do that. One way, you know, the, 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 the DOT is, is one way. Another way is hiring an, an expert, a traffic expert or a circulator to testify that that configuration will operate safe. And then this board can have that reviewed by its own expert or whatever, or choose to, to accept it. But that's the kind of information you need to get to a point where you can make that determination. That's not for you to do, that's for them to do. Now your farm stamp is too damn big and very curious.
And then, uh, just so that you're all aware, um, you've been approved to receive 15 minutes of that required annual training time for each meeting you attend. So I will tally. Um, I will tally up your time for this year. Um, so it's retroactive. I'll tally up the time for the meetings that you've attended this year, and then each month I'll give everybody a copy of the form, whatever time that you require, you know, each month, so that you know as we move through what it is that you're required to. Okay. Uh, also, I did the these people campaign. Do you have something for that too? No. Um, I signed up for the county zoning board. But, well, yeah. yeah they, uh, they, they, they should, yeah, they should have given us something. Um, and I know it, that. It could, uh, give you yeah, something. Because I think, was that the one that was if you went, you got the four hours of the year? Yeah. Okay, so if I were you, I would contact whoever, you know, is administrating that. way out the I don't know if you have an administrator uh, contact for that, but if you do, I would give them a call and see if there's something they can send in or send you so that, you know, we can give you credit for that. Tracy, do you just need to the folders back? Yeah, if you want to take what's in it, take it. If you want to leave it there so that you have it next month, leave it there, whatever you want to leave behind. Is this your Yeah, I have to have this all along. No. Nice, good color copy. <laughs> this hasn't been done. Uh, some of it was taken. It was. Yeah. Okay. Some of it. That's why I didn't understand. He, he has given me. Why? Why did they say that? Here's what they're mixing up. So, did you guys see some kind of different outcome of this application? Have you heard? Yeah. I mean, I asked them, you know, do you have any additional information to give us? But not. Exactly. Well, that's, that's been known all along. Did you leave it? That was issued last December. Yeah, that issue in January. And it was issued and he said he was going to pair it back. He said it was denied. He said it was denied. He said it was denied. It's hard to read it, but I think that was my impression. It was a 